All right, back with Damer in 1998. Oh man, I remember this. What was I supposed to do in this, bro? What do they want? What? what? Where's the objective? I haven't played this in like in about a month. It's been four weeks. Okay, wh where? Objective? Oh. Okay, damn man. Bud. We're really doing this right now? Why are we doing this? This is my welcome back. This is my welcome back to the game, huh? This is my welcome back? This is my welcome back. Your head is still glitching too. No shot. No shot. Oh yeah, at least I can continue now and finish this game. Oh, whoa, you're gonna start a forest fire. Whoa, who did it? Who started it? I'm gonna kill animal life, dude. Oh, the plane did it, no. Where are you supposed to be? Oh, hell no. You eliminate any threats. Um, use my coat. to subdue the flesh and I'm just subduing me. Pick it, pick it. I'm dead. Bro, like, why don't you run?
now? I killed one, but what now? I don't have bullets. Okay, I killed one, but what now? What are you gonna do now? I don't have bullets. You was in suckers. You clearly got bullets in there. See, like, I don't have any more bullets because this dude don't have... Bro. barely got bullets so after that boss fight I don't get nothing that totally makes sense hell no It's a military truck that doesn't have bullets and ammo. Do you realize how stupid that is? Get the hell off of me, bro. This, this is stupid, like. Dude, it's a military truck that doesn't have ammo. Oh my God, no, it's our... I don't understand that part because it, it, it what? I don't even have ammo no more. So and then this this dumbass over here, this over here grabs me. This goddamn retard makes no sense one hit will take him to the ground but five bullets won't get out of here with all that bullshit none of that makes no sense i don't even have bullets for you dude oh my god and then i died because i'm a little health and that's an instant kill I just need ammo. I don't even care about the objective, dude. I just need ammo. Like, how do you not have ammo in a place like this? How? I'm not doing that. Hell no. Do you not have? Wow. You know what? I don't even know. 
Bro. Where? Where? I'm. Wait. Let me get this straight. There's like 15 of them. Me, no ammo. What the hell do you want me to do? Close the door? I can't do that because this game is actually stupid, though. I ain't, like, I ain't gonna lie with you, bro. Like, some of the things that they actually have in this game is, like, they on some BS right there. Oh, scary. I mean, oh, wow. Good jump scare. Wow, that really got me. Get the hell out of here with all that. Here, let's try a theory real quick. I'm about to hop off of this game for another month. I ain't gonna lie with you. There better be some bullets for me and heals too, bro. Like, I'm not even playing. If there isn't, I'm not playing this. I don't even really care about this game, bro. Like, it's so dumb. The things that be putting me through in this game, hell no. I'm not doing it. And they put a freaking goblin right there. They don't let me move. I'm. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna ever play this game again. It's just stupid, it's stupid. First of all, I'm well health. They bring me up, no bullets, no ammo, and then they got a goddamn goblin up there waiting for my ass. And I got no heals either. Do you realize how stupid that is? I'm not playing this, I'm telling you right now. First of all, it's so slow to get up there because, look, look, he's, he's right there, he, he's right there, he's right there, he's gonna notice me. Hell no. Do you have anything for me? Anything at all? What is, what is that? It's not even a f it's, 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 Ooh, man. Ooh, I'm about to be pissed. So what, is the diamond gonna wake up and kill me? Because that's about to happen, because I don't have no heals. He there's this ugly goddamn goober over here. It's hot. Just give me heals. Okay. It's so much to ask, apparently. And I got this witch. Yo, how many times do they plan on me dying in this game? Because I ain't taking this no more, bro. Like, I will leave and never play this again. Just for not giving me heals at all, I will leave. No bullets, no heals, I'm gonna leave. I'm not even playing right now. I won't play this game. Serious, I won't. I will not play this game if it keeps doing this. Like, I'm done. Major, Major, do you read me? Can you hear me? Major! Damn it. Is this thing even working? Come on. Sandman, you there? Do you read me? Raven, you're alive. I just figured you'd be dead after what happened aboard the chopper. I should say the same for you. <clears throat> when I found Crane's body in the wreckage, I... Oh, I thought for sure. Yes, sir. Near the crash site. I gathered as many samples as I could to use against the leave when this gets back to command. Make damn sure those samples are still intact. They'll wait my arrival. Shouldn't 
find another chopper we could use. I think we should just rendezvous on the rooftop and get the hell out of here before it's too late. Roger, kid. We'll rendezvous at the copter pad then. I'm on my way. Don't be late. We're gonna get two of this together. Over and out. I'll see you at the dam. Understood. But hang on a second, Major. We can't just waltz through the front door. It's totally... And even if we got through, those freaks are still parading around inside. I did find another chopper we could use. I think we should just rendezvous on the rooftop and get the hell out of here before it's too late. Roger, kid. We'll rendezvous at the copter pad then. I'm on my way. Don't be late. We're gonna get through this together. Over now. Oh, I'm playing as him. Finally, bro, I got some ammo. I was about to give up on this game. I'm not even joking when I say that. No know what? Giving up on this game might be in talk still. Might be. Now I'm playing Ring Around the Rosie with you. It's alright, it's alright. No, 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 no. How? Get your big ass off of me. Have I been here before? Hell no, he's behind me. <clears throat> oh, I have. I have. Wow. What do you have in your inventory possibly? What do you even have? <laughs> it ain't that full. It really ain't. Pick those up. I've been here before as another character. I don't remember what character though. I don't even know what to do in these. So I'm not even gonna. Wait, was this where the sewers were? Oh, hell no. This is... I just had to pop her in the head one time, okay. It's alright. What is it full with? Eat one of the bars. Your health needs to go up anyway. Warehouse key. Warehouse key. You don't say. You came all the way up here just to kill me, huh? Oh, hell no. Nah, we ain't doing that. Oh, hell no. Oh. Okay.
Ali. Is he subdued? Wow. That took less bullets than I thought. It. Oh, how? This pale little... Oh, oh, but, but, but... I... Okay. What the hell are those for, dude? Oh, I was gonna go up there, but... Damn it. What's my objective? two bullets on a fake thing that wasn't even there that better that better be a real zombie that, that, that better have been one I literally been no. Dude, just uh, pop off. I don't believe what I see. I grew up in this neighborhood. No way. Is that Michael? Didn't I kill you? I killed Michael. I know I did. Oh, hell no. Kill all the zombies here. I know I did as a different character. Oh, nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. I am not doing it. Who's the first dude I played as a. Really? your health what are you doing 21 all right no nah. To his restaurant. Bro.
No. That one might be, might need more bullets. Gotta deactivate it. Not this. Throw the whole gun. Bro, I need you people to die so I can actually. Oh, that one was fake. Really? This far, I'm coming for you. We'll meet real soon, you and I. Oh, well, please tell me you got bullets. You can't be serious, right? You can't be serious. You can't be that serious now. No bullets. We're doing this, no bullets.
Okay, get the hell out of here, bro. I thought you were going to die in there. Thanks for your help, Mr... Mason. Dr. Mason. I work, or rather, I used to work in the treatment room. What was that thing? One of your lab rats gone wild? Well, you should know, of course. That thing is, or better yet, was one of yours. One of mine? What the hell is that supposed to mean? The CSR-03s your unit was transporting last night spread to the city, wiping out the entire population of Keensight. Each afflicted subject reacted differently to the effects of the toxin. As a matter of fact, the leak was so prolific that it even reached the dam, trapping many of Hexacore's own and transforming them into ungodly monsters. Prior to infection, the members of Haiti stationed there were administered an experimental additive that increases both physical and mental capabilities. But as a side effect, it seems to have generated some rather unusual varieties of form when combined with the toxin. Cut the bullshit. I put down some of those Haiti things already and they're completely different from what you don't get it. Not long ago, an Alpha team was called out to extract a survivor from your team. Meaning what exactly? By the time Alpha team arrived, something had literally torn the survivor to shreds. But he wasn't quite dead. The bioscanners indicated the formation of some genetic mutation, an anomaly. That's why the Big Shots ordered them to recover the specimen for analysts back at HQ. But what they found was something nobody expected. Both Castor and Pollux flourishing in harmony. The two viral agents had twisted together in some ungodly perversion that gave birth to something new. Wait, are you saying that that thing out there is leave? Oh my god, where did it go? How the hell did he get loose? I knew it! Shit! Can't stop. 
stay here. Come on, Doctor. But there's no stopping him. Don't you understand? Get the hell out of here, boy. But you don't have to. Listen, I'll buy you enough time to get to the helipad. Then I'm gonna bomb this damn place. It's just down there. Now go! Look. There isn't any other way. Go on, get out of here. Damn, bro, call me boy like oh, I wasn't in no the military. I have to reach the helipad immediately. No way. Citadel's been overrun. I repeat, the Citadel's been overrun. The whole situation's proof on. No survivors.
Major! Major! That's hard to believe. I didn't think leave could get any nastier than he already was. Come on, we need to get out of here. The dam's gonna blow. Right, we better hurry. Hit it! Raven, go get it out of here! No. I won't leave another man behind. No, I think so. Not today, kid. Not today. You've already risked your life far too many times. This time, only one of us is walking away from here alive. Wow. The truth is undeniable. Fortune favors the bold. I accomplished my mission at the first light of dawn, and for once in my existence, the best plan was to not have a plan. Aiden! How in the hell did you... Disappoint you, kid. I guess the great Sandman ain't so great after all. But after all of the lies lost, at least I managed to save one. What's going on? By all rights, you should be dead. And you're not. Wait. What? Who did that to you? That f guy! Don't touch me! Stay away! Leave! He turned me into this freak! The antidote! I need it now! This? Give it to me now! Are you alright? Did it work? You bastard! Do you remember me? You... Mass murdering piece of shit. I will never forgive you for taking her away from me. What? What the hell are you? Drop your gun right now. You killed her. Why? What did my baby ever do to you? Hey, whoa, whoa, calm down. Too many people have died already. Why don't you drop the weapon so we can talk about it? Whatever happened, it's over. It's over. No! It's not over. Not by a long shot. Not until this... this guy pays for what he did to her. Listen, listen. I don't know you, sir. But you can trust me when I say the man who did all this is dead. The Major's a hero. He risked his life. He risked his life? Huh? For what? To murder tens of people? Including my wife? I was there, soldier boy. I saw what he did to her. My baby. Now, I suggest you get the f*** out of my way, or you can go to hell with them! I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Drop your weapon, or I'm gonna shoot you where you stand. No matter what you think you saw. Stand down, Raven. Go stand down. It's you. Is that Samuel? How do you know my name? Because I know more than what you think. But the only thing you really need to know is that I'm truly sorry. I never meant to hurt her. Not intentionally. Your wife, she was one of the few people I could really count on to. What's that supposed to mean, huh? Huh? Who, who are you people? He's the one who ripped my arm off and broke my neck. While well, you just stood by and watched me die. No, that's not what happened. That's not how... That's not... She's dead! The sad baby. Are we really gonna argue over semantics? <laughs> just look at yourself. You're nothing but a frightened lab rat. Shut up! That's all you want! Shut that's up! That's all you ever... Just... 
Just shut your mouth. Sam, who am I? Stop! Just don't say another goddamn word! These people know everything about you. Fight it, Samuel! They always used you for their advantage. No! They this isn't them. real! You She's got any property! Don't listen to her, Samuel! The moment you were born! Damn it! The voice isn't Sarah! The game is gonna end it. Gene signature confirmed. Welcome back, sir. Boot up the register. Ready to receive. Mission report K731. Personal code FG956-5061. Mission status completed. The material requested has been recovered. Of those involved, there's no one left. At least no one who knows what's really going on. I erased all traces of Kay's involvement. Hexacor Biogenetics will be blamed and held accountable for the mishap in keen sight. Good job, sir. Following materials archive. Evidence number one. HAF4RG0 Delta surveillance footage. That's just not gonna happen. So this is it. The moment has arrived. You know, I told you that I'd do whatever it takes to protect her, and now I gotta prove just that. Prove it to myself, to you, but mostly prove it to her. My precious little angel, Samantha. In exactly seven days, my man and I will be deployed to the Aegis Labs to recover samples of Castor and Pollux. After which, you know what I have to do. Oh, I know what you're thinking right now. I know. So many innocent lives lost to save just one. But she's my baby girl. So listen up. I want you to leave Keen Sight, you and your Samuel, and get as far away from the city as possible. The gears of destruction are already in motion, and nobody can stop them now. And even if they could. I wouldn't let them. So, if one day my conscience does feel a little less guilty, it'll only be because I've not only saved my daughter's life, but yours as well. I know you know what it means to truly love someone with every fiber of your being. And the choices you gotta make to hold on to that love 
to be with that person and share one last day, one last minute, one last tantalizing second. I couldn't live with myself knowing I didn't step up and do something, even if it means burning in hell for eternity. That should come easy compared to a living hell without her. Hope one day you can forgive me. But if you can't, saving Samantha will be enough. Evidence number three, Sarah Carmichael's recording to Sam Walker. Sweetheart, I've been waiting for this day to come, wishing I didn't have to tell you the things you're about to hear. Yet, here goes nothing. The more elaborate the lie, especially one as grandiose and brazen as this, the more difficult it becomes to explain. I should have waited for you to come home, to speak with you in person, but I just can't do anything but record this. You won't be home before dark, by which time it'll probably be too late. There's a good chance they'll come here looking for me. <laughs> they. I guess you're wondering who I'm talking about. What I'm about to say will change your life forever. Change my life too. Thank you. What's happening one way or another was inevitable, but at the cost of many thousands of lives, it will also mean the end of our relationship. Listen to me. By now, all of Keen's sight is lost. He... He did it. He infected the whole goddamn town, sentencing the people here to a fate worse than death. He committed a truly unforgivable sin. The last hope for a crazy man being puppeted by even crazier people. The Kuronosu Company. I still don't understand how he could have done it. How anyone could have done it. Even him. Especially him. God damn you, Kuronosu. Hexacore. Damn you both to hell. Oh, Christ. We're just a bunch of filthy murderers. All of us. What I wanted to say, if I wasn't a coward, is that even though I've always loved you, I've never been completely honest That's with crazy. you. Beneath this city, behind your disease, lies a tangled web of secrets linked to the company. I would have told you sooner rather than being obliged by this tragedy, but I couldn't and wasn't ready yet. I was afraid of how it might affect us. Sorry. 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 It kills me to tell you this, but I'm not who you think I am. You already know that I work for Hexacore, but what you don't know is that my job isn't limited to mere administration. My field of expertise is actually the supervision of research studies monitoring one of our most important tests you huh? for decades now our government has been experimenting in its own backyard testing chemical weapons on an unsuspecting America the project is called Truman and keen sight is one of the most illustrious testing zones with hexacore overseeing the whole shebang since the 40s you and hundreds of others like you are the end result of these tests. And we've been tasked with keeping you in check and gleaning as much data as possible about your condition. I can attest, however, that it took very little effort for you to become the most important part for me because, because I actually fell in love with you and it wasn't just a job for me anymore. What? So when someone asks if I love my work, I tell them yes. 
thanks to you, I do. And maybe that's why I've never had the courage to tell you before. And more importantly, I would never leave this place without you of my own free will, if given the choice. Hold on. I hear something. There... There's somebody out there. That, that's just... Plot twist right there. Evidence number four. ID tags of Sarah Carmichael, Hexacore Biogenetic Supervisor, code 27. If y'all enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, click the bell icon to get notified of my daily uploads. Join the Discord if you want to suggest videos slash games for me to play slash react to. It will be in the description and my link tree too if you want to check out some of my socials, see if you want to follow. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next time.